40 days after the celebration of our Lord's Nativity, we have the feast of the presentation of the Lord, the purification of Our Lady on the 2nd of February, sometimes called Candlemas, because traditionally it's a day on which we bless candles and go in procession. It's also a moment that's captured for us in the fourth joyful mystery of the Holy Rosary. St Luke paints a lovely picture of this mystery of our Lord's life in his Gospel, describing that moment when Joseph and Mary bring the child Jesus to the temple and present him to the Lord in accordance with the law of Moses. So we see here Jesus submitting himself humbly, he the Son of God, submitting himself to the law of Moses in order to teach us the lesson of humility, to imitate him. This feast is something that's celebrated every night in the church's liturgy, the divine office of night prayer or Compline. We pray that canticle that the holy man Simeon pronounced and prayed when he set eyes on the Christ child. Nunc dimittus servum tuum domine. Now, Lord, you can let your servant depart in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations, the light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. So every night before we go to bed, before we close our eyes in sleep, in the darkness, we're reminded of this great mystery of Christ, the light of the world, coming to illuminate us. And in these days now, when we're still quite dark in the evening, dark in the morning, it's a feast, a mystery of our Lord's life that reminds us that the light is coming. The days are certainly starting to get longer already. And moreover, it reminds us that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel, that we have optimism, that we have hope. And even during this pandemic, we can start now to see shafts of light coming in to renew us and to give us hope as indeed we hope and pray that we are on this last furlong of this time of trial for us. So as we celebrate the mystery of our Lord's presentation, Our Lady's purification on this day, let's pray that we too will live always in the light, that that constant struggle that goes on in our lives between good and evil, between the light and the dark, will be overcome constantly with our Lord's light because he has promised us that he will always be the light for us, that his light will always outshine the powers of darkness. And on this feast too, we ask for the intercession of our Blessed Lady and St Joseph and those prophets, Simeon and Anna, whom we call to mind at this moment, that they will show us constantly the light of Christ in our lives. So may God bless you and have a wonderful celebration of this liturgically last day of Christmas.